The waves of revival that swept the Scandinavian countries during the later half of the 19th century were greatly influenced by the wealth of fine tunes that flowed from the pen of one called Lena Sandel. Born on October 3, 1832, she was the daughter of a parish pastor. Being a frail youngster, she would rather spend her time on her father's study than to play with her playmates. At the age of 26, she accompanied her father on their journey to Gothenburg. But before they even arrived there, tragedy struck. The ship gave a sudden lurch and threw her father offboard, drowning in front of her eyes. Although she had written hymns prior to this tragic accident, more songs flowed out of her broken heart, which reflected a simple, childlike trust in Christ and a deep sense of His abiding presence in her life. The remarkable popularity attained by her hymns has been due to a large extent to the simple but melodious music written for them by musicians such as Oscar Anfeld. He was known as a spiritual troubadour during his day. Not only did he possess the gift of writing pleasant melodies that captured the fancy of Swedish people, but he also traveled from one place to the other throughout the Scandinavian countries, singing these folk-like songs in accompaniment of his ten-string guitar. Miss Sandel also once said, Mr. Anfell has sung my songs into the hearts of the people. It is often true that whenever revival fires begin to glow, there is always satanic opposition. This one account is given that one time, King Carl XV petitioned to stop the preaching and singing of Anfeld throughout Scandinavia. He even called Anfeld to appear before him. Being considerably troubled as to what he would sing for the king, Mr. Anfeld requested Miss Sandel to write him a special hymn appropriate for the occasion. And after a few days, the song was ready. With a guitar under his arm and a new song in his pocket, he appeared before the palace with these words, Who is it that knocketh upon your heart's door in peaceful eve? Who is it that brings to the wounded and sore the balm that can heal and relieve? Your heart is still restless, it findeth no peace in earth's pleasures. Your soul is still yearning, it seeketh release to rise to the heavenly treasures. The king listened with moist eyes, and when Anfield had finished, King Carl gripped him by the hand and exclaimed, You may sing as much as you desire in both of my kingdoms. Lena Sandel has often been called the Fanny Crosby of Sweden for her many contributions to the gospel hymnody. Let us hear Wycliffe as he sings to us day by day. Like promises, oh Lord. 
by one.